Welcome to another War Thunder game. So today I'm taking out the F-40 Sabre, so that's the Japanese premium F-40 Sabre, which I recently got as part of my uh, educator wiki competition prize thing. I also got the actual tech tree F-40 Sabre as you can see there, but I um, haven't used that yet because it's more expensive and I don't get the premium bonuses, so I thought, okay. So what are my first impressions on the F-40 Sabre? So as you can tell, quite quickly. I haven't really played this plane much, but uh, there are a few things I've picked up along the way of me playing it. First of all, it's actually not as fast as I thought, so I thought, you know, F-40 Sabre, that's why, you know, it's up there as one of the latest Sabre variants, so I thought, I don't really know my Sabre variants, but I thought it would be quite fast, you know, it's got rated 950, highest rated premium in the game, I mean, I thought it would be quite fast. And it turns out that it's decently fast, but nowhere near the same as other jets it faces. Even at the same BR, so the CR-13A and B are faster, which is frustrating, because especially the A version is my point so There's also uh, stuff like G91YS, which okay, is quite a fast plane, and you are faster than other G91s. Then there's the Hunter, of Hunters, they're also faster. And these planes, apart from like, the Hunter F6 and G91 YS, are at a higher battery, uh, sorry, the same battery rate. And so, apparently now, you can have this thing which is far slower and at the same battery rate. So that was frustrating. The second thing that I found was uh, its guns are annoying. So I didn't, haven't actually realised or found out which belts are actually the best to use. But, even then, like even self belts, ground targets, universal, all like just get hits, hits, occasional crits. In order to actually kill someone, you need to be properly, you know, laid down the fire. And I'm used to playing fast, unmaneuverable planes with real powerful cannons, such as the Hunter, the MiG-19, and so on. And so it was really quite a difference to take this plane out. And so what we're doing today, we're playing in the map Iwo Jima, which is a specific map. So that means they're playing against the uh, not the Germans, the British and the Americans, which is kind of a rarity, not having, uh, not having mixed RB at top tier, but I can understand why it happens, because as you can soon tell, uh, usually the Axes come out on top when they fight each, uh, fight each other. And what I also notice about this match is it's basically all the 100s. You'll find one Hunter in this game, I believe. Other than that, all the 100s. So immediately I'm thinking, oh, that's not good because it's playing a slow. F100 is actually, if used correctly, quite fast. And uh, yeah, I think it should be 10.2 at 9.7, well that's just me. And so I'm thinking, okay. I basically now have slow playing, or slow compared to what I'm fighting against very fast things. And I don't really have good cannons. Uh, good armory, armament, armory, good armament to actually face them. So, well, I'll just go for the slow song to the Hunter. I didn't really know whether there was a Hunter F6 or a Hunter F1, but a Hunter F6, then that's worse. So, what I'm doing is I'm testing out this new flying style that I'm flying with the F40, which is kind of like the needle. So, it's kind of like a Hunter flying style where I get fast and then go down quite straight, don't turn too much and then go out the other side and up again around and repeat. So it's kind of similar, it's kind of basically the same as what I do with the Hunter. Just this plane is quite maneuverable and so like you subconsciously think that okay if it's maneuverable I'm going to do all these kinds of maneuvers in it. But that's not really the case. Either way, what I'm now doing is I'm looking at which target should I go for. So I'll go for the Hunter. Now what you notice is I start to black out quite quickly because my crew skills are very low because I mean, literally this is a very new crew in the Japanese line and I miss the hunter which is a shame. Now if I actually hit him I wouldn't have done much damage um, so I don't know. I can't really go for the second shot because I blacked out and didn't want to go too far out. But you also notice I'm playing without boosters there. I mean, if I had boosters, I'd probably rip this by now. But, I mean, like I said, this plane is incredibly maneuverable. With boosters, you're quite likely to rip. And I'm used to playing the Boston as well back in the day when it was literally ripped all the time. 
like at the start of the scene you then snap off the cruiser wings. And I don't, haven't actually ripped the Spain because I took a few since before that I had the chance, but um, yeah, it still is quite meaningful. So what I'm doing here, I see this F100 who for some reason is going up the loop, even though he's passing all of us who are chasing him. So what I do is I pick a few shots. He, he, I mean, I don't know what he's doing, but I shoot him down. And I mean, what you'd notice is, even though I said that. Um, it takes quite a burst to actually get kills with these 50 cows. Um, I killed him quite quickly, and I think that was because my rounds basically were converging right on his wing, so I just snapped off. So at this point here, I'm thinking, okay, alright, I have a few more targets left, who should I go for? Here's another up 100. Let's try and get him. So, turn around, try and engage him. And, uh, I power up my missiles, which are the aim line Bs, really, really bad. So I launch one at him. He goes up, and I think they're going to up the loop like I've ever heard. The other F100. Oh, he isn't, I don't know. He's actually playing it smart and he's going to climb. So I thought, okay, fair enough, there's no way I'm going to catch him. So I'll just go away. Find a target. And now, talking about the missiles, I mean, of course, I mean, I'm pretty sure the reason this is 9.3 is because it has missiles, but. I mean, I the missiles, I've never got to kill with them. I have got critical hits and the hits, um, as you'll see in the next video. Spoiler alert. But, apart from that, they do literally nothing. And it was quite a jump going from the SRAMs in the Hunter F6, which now are, like, I'm literally loving so much, to this, you know. Like, hmm. Either way, I can just coming in. I don't really know where he's going. I took a shot, spray it all, and I missed everything. And I mean, that was my fault. One problem I have with the 50 cows is I haven't really found out how to aim them properly yet. I'm still used to um, the Hunters and the MiG 19s hands. But that comes with time. For example, you know, when I first played the MiG 19 S, I get frustrated because I can't aim the hands. But now I'm fairly decent at it. You know, I made a build compilation, which I'm quite proud of actually. It was a great video. I really loved making it. and editing it and watching it again I watched it a few times already uh, back again and I mean every time I kind of wonder uh, in wonder rather how amazing or how well it turns out to be but either way at this point I'm kind of now searching for a site I can take out I know there was an F100 that went around in this area so I go back try and find him and uh, just keep flying. Now, what do you think about this plane in general? In general, it is quite a nice thing. Uh, of course, there's some things like speeds and firepower, but these things you can like, learn to live with. So, for example, Nick 15, this. I remember I was going down, that was a fun move, by the way, to drive land, to dive. But then again, it's just hard to do a carry landing in a jet. But, Either way, F100, uh, well, F40 Sabre, just like the MiG-15 is slow, but I did really well with the MiG-15 it was on itself, because it is a slow plane, and back when I played it loads, it was at 9 point so I grinded out the MiG-19S quite quickly with that, so slow plane doesn't mean bad plane, I mean there are things you can do to get, uh, get faster, same with the armament, I mean, I've been killed quite a few times with like a and it just takes practice. So, in general, it's a nice plane. I just haven't really found out how to play it well yet. So, I mean, that comes with times, pretty sure. And you also get loads of RP for doing that. So, now on to the second game. And this time it's an L main, so it is mixed RB. So, basically, the Germans, Russian, not Russians, Italians, and Japanese fight the Germans, Italians, and Japanese. And take out the same loadout. You know, so I also take 20 minutes of fuel. Some jet players take out minimum fuel because I think ah, it gives me better performance. I prefer to sacrifice the performance for um, just in general being able to uh, survive a bit longer. So especially when you're fighting stuff like the T2, the Ming 19 S. And those other burning engines that run like the guzzle fuel. So I just take off all my helmet cells. 
and have some lag. So, at the beginning of this game, there are a few lag issues which I'm quickly solved. So, don't worry, just stay with us. I think I've done no trouble. Because obviously, I'm throughout this game. I just cut the recording into bit just to see if the lag stops. And uh, it doesn't really. So, I do, at this point, I tab out and just stop a few uh, processes running, background processes in the computer. Just stay with me for a few seconds. Got some backing music for this. Here we go, okay. So, you can see here what I'm doing in this game. I'm kind of going in for the side swipe tactic where I'm going to the side, not climbing yet, but I might climb into it later. And then afterwards, I'm attacking the enemy from an unexpected position, I'm just coming down, shooting my cans, sorry, guns, and just going out on the side. Again, like the needle. Um, find tactic for the hunter, etc. And so what I'm doing is I'm just trying to gather speed here so I can climb it a bit. And all the time I'm looking at that MiG-19, there's two MiG-19 and I'm thinking I would far rather be in that plane, but this thing is still nice, you know. Um, I haven't actually got any down tier games to but in down tier games it is, it's easier to fight. Um, because you're around about the same speed bracket as many others. Obviously so there are CL-13s, other F-40 Sabres, etc which tend to be either fast or the same speed as you. Um, but you can deal with that. I mean, there's something like the T2, the Mega-19S, even the G91YS. They are far faster than you, and you can't really deal with that. So I'll go into the fly. Try to get some altitude. So, basically, I'm trying to put, build up a position for myself and give them as much as an advantage as possible. So I'm in the fly. I'm looking around, just trying to judge what the enemy team is doing, what our team is doing. There's T2 that can be found pounding, um, which is confusing because mm -hmm. uh, it seems like a really good plane. The T2, but I have heard it's really hard to fight or fly, rather, because it's kind of. Hopefully, I'll get it soon, but at this rate, a pound thing is playing would not be very well yet. But that T2 that's found pounding soon dies. I was thinking. Okay, their team is in the shambles. I mean, look at that. They're all in that position where three MiG 19s are slow and low, the T 2s are wherever, and so on and so forth. But even the MiG 19s are getting the kills. But, you know, it's an ideal position for me as past the plane, more maneuverable, to go get them. So I try and find my first target, and see the other team. It's a tough out of nowhere, so I'm thinking of still 13. I'll take that target, easy target. We need to go up behind him and give him a bit black black. And so you shoot a bit. And you get a pilot fight, which is unexpected. So okay, cool. So I look back around. We were just converting that speed into altitude, so I convert it back to speed again. And I see a low and slow mid 19s. So that's too ideal a target for me to take. So I take it and uh, we want our missiles. We want the missile, looks good, and then it just goes down. So, S trams, we have never done that. That's what I'm saying. I mean, this less trams would be a hell, but hey. Okay. I should have a big bunch of nets and I'll just miss. So, go back round, look over. At this point, I'm thinking of this mid 19s is like, how? How are these two slow? Does not have any engine damage either. I know with that, like, if I had my Ming 19 I would have easily, at this point, just gone away. I would have overpowered, uh, yeah, overpowered, but just used to power my engine to just get out of there. But, either way, the Ming 19S, for some reason, is just, I don't know, so the power from this, I'll get it hit. Okay. And then I shoot down the Ming 19S. And at this point, our team isn't really doing too well. Really. Well, I'm kind of ashamed really, but I try and help out the 319 and he dies as well. I mean, my aim is poor, but like I said, I mean, in time I will get better at this. But I get to quit anyway. It's good. I see there's an enemy behind me, so I'm thinking, okay, I need to do some face maneuvers here. But, you know, I have a teammate who's going to help out a bit. I'm going to look at the minimap and look. Okay. 
that's annoying. Now, a good thing with the, um, the saber is because it's so maneuverable and has good roll rate. Evading is really easy. You soon see later on in this video, you can easily evade even the same thing. You can evade. I don't, I don't know if that's a premium F14, it looks like the Tech G1. Mm, I think it's the Tech G1. But, evade, and now, you know, trying to get the overshoots or the shots on the target. Um, but, just have a uh, lot of damage, so I have too much tail level. And ultimately, yeah. Okay, I thought we were going to get him. So I turn in, try and get the shots. And nothing. Okay. I'm running low on ammo at this point. And I mean, this is like one of my first few matches I'm trash with this game. It's my first saber as well. But I evaded T2. It is weird having to play. Having played virtually every other jet fight. Actually, no, I'm going to say that. Top tier jet fight. So play the mix. Play the hunters. But now, Saber is like the big one I missed out. But, you know, they have their own play style which I haven't found like, or learned yet. But I mean, this is quite fun to have this maneuverable jet. T2 comes in, we quick evade, no way you can get, uh, catch me. And if I go for the first one, you know, I have low ammo, so I'm not going to race around. I like this round my firing. Link 19 on the. Runway, but I don't shoot him because of like an army, so I do that. Then he disappears when I do the touch on my face. So I go for the F40 instead. I hit. Okay. Crit. Okay. And no more rounds. Okay. That is bad. I'm now surrounded by loads of enemy planes and have nothing at all. And I'm damaged. So what am I going to do? Well, I turn around with the sneak because I need to go to the runway and there's a T2 behind me. Um, that is even worse. So I cut in and I dodge the T2. Easy, easy dodge. And he does a smart thing and goes away. F4 Sabre. Uh, anyone can get killed. So I tell my teammate, okay, I have no ammunition. There's nothing that I can do. I'm basically useless at this point. Another F4 Sabre. That I'm, that's coming towards me, so go to him and pick a head on, you know, evade, he thinks, okay, well, bye. Basically, I see this uh, thing going again for me, so I turn around, try and evade, try and like, scare him into thinking that I'm going to attack him, but now I'm just going away, running to my base. And this is where I see the T2, and he takes off quite a sizable chunk of my tail, actually. I no longer have a rudder of any kind. So at this point, I'm thinking, Okay, I need to return to base, so there's no way I can survive at all. I mean, I have no ammunition. Even if I did, would I have been able to do anything? Probably not. So, I dive down, try and get the speed going, even though I won't be able to outrun a T2, but just nice to have some speed at least when you're evading. T2 comes in for a shot, and this is when you see properly the maneuverability of this plane. Even without a rudder with damaged ailerons, uh, not ailerons, well, the yeah, damaged ailerons and elevator, um, I'm still able to do some evading. So I bait up and then he sparks on me but I mean, with those like anyway. So I get a kill also on one of their 40 sabers. And at this point I'm thinking that this is the end of the game. I need to well if I'm lucky and I can land then well I land. And I might be able to do something but I mean, we have the CL13 and fighting to two planes. And then obviously this T2 and the T2 is not a nice plane to be 1v1 against because the speed, I mean, you know, just zoom, zoom you to the ground, really. And here he comes again. So I do the evade, and nothing he can do to catch up to me, looking at And see, if I had ammunition, I could have done something there, but as it was, I decided to disengage again. Just so, you know, with all these maneuvers, I'm gradually going towards my base. CL13 is holding his own fairly well. But I do really need the T2 to just go away so I can actually land. And then I can help him. So it's, it's a team uh, teamwork thing. Of course, I can't help him in my composition. So if I you know, land and rearm, then I might be able to do something. Anyway, I tell the T uh, tell tell T two might be out of just because he's been firing quite a bit at me and then just going away. But it might just be because he didn't to think of me as a threat. Even though if I was in this position, I'd like get rid of me just because I don't want you me to land. 
and then I will be a threat. So just do that. So I'm free to fly to my base. And at this point, he says, "Okay, he also needs to go back to base." So currently, we're now in a pretty bad situation with our planes. We need to go back to base. So I tell him, "Okay, how about I will uh, land, and then you can." land after me. That's just because I wasn't being selfish, I'm close to the airfield and also I'm in more need of a repair than he is also I think. Anyway, CL-13B as like just in general faster plane so now especially he's fast, he's catching up to me anyway but I still think okay I need to go land and repair. Now here's the annoying part this plane doesn't have a parachute so basically it would be very difficult for me to land this plane going this fast with this much damage um, with wheels so I think to myself okay, you know what I will uh, do the belly landing technique which is far more dangerous but if you do it well then you will slow down far more and so that's what I intend to do I'm going really fast however as I'm approaching the airfield, 800 tons per hour is not a good approach speed, but I slow down loads to see here, 600, 500. Still, 400. This is around about, you know, nearly a good enough speed for a belly land. 400, 300, 50, 80, 80, 50. So this is perfect speed. I could have, if I had um, a better plane, I would have wasn't not damn it, would have done a gear landing. But as it was, I don't. And I tried to land, but I crash and I flip and I, oh, that's not good. So apologise to my team, but like I'm, I still stand by my uh, decision to land this way. I could have actually done, couldn't have done anything more to be honest. And uh, I think he dies as well soon after. It's a shame, and to be honest, at the same time, I was let down by my team. If me in my position have to like have three kills, like in a bad plane that I played just a few times before, and then you know. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you had a good time, and hope to see you soon for a, another video. Here are my results. I mean, they're decent for like game which I lost. It's, it's decent. Yeah. Anyway, goodbye.